Hello friends, in this video, let me explain how to design a cost sheet to calculate plot value. Okay, so in this workbook, there are two worksheets. First one is Calci and second one is Data. First of all, let me explain about Data. Here you can see plot and square feet. That means in A column, the list of plot numbers are mentioned and in B column, list of square feet of each plot as assigned. Okay, this is a sample cost sheet design. And the first one is price valid till. Okay, in this portion, you can start to update a cost sheet valid date. That means this cost sheet is valid for uh, 15 days. In this way, you can update a uh, number of days in this portion. I have mentioned 15 days from uh, today. So it's showing us a 7th of March from today's date. And uh, next one is details. Here, I have mentioned four type of categories that means plan A, plan B, plan C and plan D. So according to this selection, price will be changed automatically. And uh, plot number. So here you can mention plot number. Example, if I mention plot number 10, then this will take an 1200 from B column. So in this way, you can start to update a plot number in this portion. Uh, let me ex okay, let me update 15. Okay, so Okay, so once I updated any value in this portion, all this field data will be changed automatically with the predefined values. Let me explain one by one. So once I updated value in this portion, plot size will be taken from data sheet. If I update 20, square feet will be changed accordingly. So here you can see 20, 2400 and the value will get changed automatically. So based on this plot size and the plan number, price will be changed automatically based on this if condition. Here I have updated 750 for plan A per square feet and 1000 for plan B and 1250 for plan C and 1500 for plan D. So if I select any one of the plan number here, this value will get changed automatically based on this uh, plot size and plot number and plan. Okay, so this is the list of uh, facilities and the preferred location changes and uh, so there will be a separate charge for this one. So according to that, corner plots will be extra with uh, 85 rupees per square feet and uh, 40 for uh, not facing plots and uh, 70 rupees for uh, 60 feet road fencing. So whenever we update any value in this portion, 85, here amount will be calculated based on a square feet. Let me update 40 and 70. So this amount will get changed automatically based on this value and the square feet. If I don't want to update any value in this portion, just can directly erase this one. And all this value, that means A value and the preferred location charges will be calculated separately. And the preferred location charge is calculated and updated in the cell. And then legal documentation so here you can update a legal documentation fee is applicable and update this value in this portion. And if any approval charges is applicable here, just you can update and this amount will be updated in this portion. Here you can see that means 15,000 plus 5,000 and original value amount that means the cost of plot. And the GST of 18 percentage is calculated in this portion, which means uh, E minus A, and uh, here you can see E value and minus A value, and for remaining 18 percentage of uh, GST is calculated and updated in this portion. And in total, you can see GST plus total value. And in this portion, 4% of registration is applicable. So I already updated 4% in this cell. 
and stamp duty charges is seven percentage of the land cost so i updated seven percentage into land value cost and the maintenance cost is a uh, 0.6 per square feet per annum so here i updated plot size and 0 0.50 into 12 months and there is a booking advance fee also and here i updated if condition to calculate a, to update a booking advance amount for plan a 50000 plan b 75000 and for plan c 1 lakh and for plan d 1 lakh 25000 as the booking advance fee okay so in this portion you can update a percentage of a down payment amount and number of days that means booking dates can also be uh, determined and updated in this portion and the remaining percentage of the amount can be paid on registration date here you can see paid amount minus total amount okay so in this way you can start to prepare cost sheet for a plot according to your requirement just you can start to design in this category okay let me update uh, number 50 and uh, 40 and 70. So all this amount will be changed according to plot number and plot size. So once I updated plot number, all this field will be updated automatically and uh, type 70 so if i wanted to see 75 and values changed and uh, select the plan d and all this calculation will be done automatically when you are updating any value in this portion 51 and 47 And B, yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. I will come up with another session.